In this video, um, we are going to talk about the second part of our walking skeleton in order to set up our application. And this is um, infrastructure provisioning. So, you know, the feature would be as a developer, I want to provision infrastructure in a declarative and reproducible way so that I can deploy my application into multiple environments. And this is, you know, some kind of groundwork that we would like to um, do before we actually uh, you know, start feature development. For the infrastructure provisioning, um, I will use Terraform and Terraform Cloud. And for those of you who are not aware on what Terraform at all is, I will briefly try to explain you. So generally speaking, um, Terraform is a mechanism to, you know, where you put into a file a particular definition of how your infrastructure should look like. And infrastructure can be, you know, applications, it can be uh, databases, it can be, I don't know, some kind of credentials or um, DNS entries or whatever. And um, Terraform has a unified, you know, language um, that you can put into this file in order to, um, to, to define this infrastructure. And um, then you have normally a command line interface um, tool, you know, the Terraform CLI tool, which actually then performs, um, you know, the update or the, the provisioning of the infrastructure on your behalf. And for that, it needs to connect to the, you know, different um, services. For example, in, in, in our case, we will use Heroku as the platform for actually, you know, running our application. Um, so this means Terraform needs access to um, Heroku. And you can think of it that, you know, Terraform is mainly acting as a remote control for your infrastructure provider or for your cloud vendors. Um, okay, so for that, let's um, go here. This is uh, Terraform Cloud and, um, you know, it has a free tier for small teams and so on. So you can just use it. And the way it works is that you have, um, you know, different workspaces. I call, created one here, which is called Rent Your Stuff already. And this workspace then basically, you know, connects to a particular GitHub uh, repository. I already set it up here in the settings version control um, to link up to my GitHub repository. And um, in particular, it should look at the um, yeah, infrastructure directory and only, you know, do something if there is a change in this particular um, directory. And this is then where we will put um, the Terraform files into place. And yeah, so with that, we can probably just shift to our IntelliJ and create those directory. Um, so let me just go here and say new directory uh, infrastructure. And then I will go ahead and create a file which is called Terraform TF. And, you know, I will not copy or, or write everything uh, here by hand because it's a little bit of configuration work, but I will try to explain you what what is in there. So um, this first block is basically configuring Terraform itself. So it means, um, you know, at which, um, at which particular Terraform version it runs and which providers it should use. In this case, we want to leverage um, the integration with Heroku. So this means we need um, some kind of um, Heroku provider here. Um, this concept of providers is basically like, you know, every infrastructure vendor like AWS or Azure or also Heroku, they have their own providers. And then you can, you know, define particular resources is what they call these, um, these infrastructure elements. Um, you know, using this particular provider. And in order to make um, Terraform work with Heroku, it needs a particular configuration. In this case, it needs the email address and the and an API key. So this means that it actually we basically allow Terraform to interact with Heroku. And for that, let me do, uh, quickly go back here to my um, Terraform Cloud project. We uh, can or what I already did here is I configured workspace variables and these um, are matching. So if we shift once again 
back to our um, to our directory here. So they match these two um, variables, Heroku email and Heroku API key. And actually what we have to do is uh, create another file which we call variables tf. Um, and here we basically define those variables. So first of all, the email um, that Terraform needs for um, connecting to Heroku, and secondly, the API key. Okay, so uh, with that in place, um, now we need to configure those values, and this is what I did here in the um, in the Terraform Cloud Workspace. Um, you can basically add variables and then say, you know, should this be a Terraform variable or environment variable? I will use uh, Terraform variables here right now. And then I configured it to be sensitive, so it's not able to uh, retrieve them again, except for Terraform Cloud itself. And the API key, uh, this is something that you can look up from your Heroku account. So if you go here, um, then you can basically at the bottom see your API key and um, you can either regenerate a new one or reveal the, the value. And then you can uh, copy and put it into the Terraform Cloud. Okay, with that in place, um, when we go here to the overview, uh, it basically waits for us for this working directory to you know come up with some Terraform files. So let's um, do that here. And the first thing that we can now do is okay. So we now have two new files. Oh, so. Yeah. So. I was just thinking to create a new branch, but the point is, um, I think the first thing we have to configure Terraform um, in order to uh, really leverage, you know, this idea of when we create a branch of um, the Terraform configuration, then it will already um, do planning the infrastructure and so on. So I will just skip that for now and um, create just create the initial uh, structure for it. And I will push it to our repository. And with that now, yeah, let's just start a plan here. I will for now just triggering it via the UI. And until now, you know, we don't have um, anything that we would like to do because we just configure Terraform to be available. And so then the next thing that we can do is to create uh, our Heroku. Um, yeah, basically all the infrastructure that we need. And I will do it piece by piece so that you can follow along. Um, but I won't go into all the details. <clears throat> so first thing is here, um, there's a resource which is called uh, Heroku app. And Heroku app, you can find, by the way, you can find all of the information here in the Terraform provider uh, documentation. For example, here, this is our Heroku app um, configuration. And yeah, with that, you basically create a new application in Heroku. And an application in Heroku is, you know, when we go here to our, I already have a couple of those. Um, you can just in the UI also do it here, create a new app, and then you give it a name and, um, you know, just configure it a little bit. Um, and this basically the same thing that we just uh, saw in the, in the UI, we will now do as well in the Terraform code. So let me just um, do it like this. I will configure a particular application and let's see what Terraform Cloud will do out of that.
So as you see here now, Terraform Cloud has you know found okay. So there is a change um, in the repository, and what it does is it mainly um, does two things. So the first thing is there is a thing called Terraform Plan. And this Terraform plan, the output you already see here, it is basically um, trying to understand what you told um, in the file, and then you know tries to see okay, so what is currently in um, the the infrastructure provider already, and then it tries to identify the diff basically. Um, in this case, we don't have an app yet, so it means it would like to create one particular. Um, resource in this case it's our rent your stuff staging application so then i can now go ahead here and say okay so please uh, create this app and now um, the second stage happens from terraform which is that it actually will apply um, the changes that it detected okay now everything has been created and so this means if we now go here to um, Heroku, once again, we see that we have a new application which is called Rent Your Stuff Staging. Currently, this is uh, you know just mainly an empty application, but the point here is that Terraform basically did the trick and created that for us. And with that, you have like a possibility to um, you know just configure everything inside of Heroku uh, via um, yeah just regular. Um, file operation and also you can you know apply git operations and, and so on and so forth so this is really valuable to um, first of all keep track of everything that you did and secondly you know if you want to uh, create a new instance or something this is just you know basically copying a little bit of source code and then that's about it so this means now we have our application so um, i think that we need a little bit more um, you see here, this um, these resources always have like you know properties, name, region, and here in this case, I configured the build pack for uh, my application. Um, you know, for our JMX application, this will be just a Heroku slash Gradle because at the end of the day, this is just a regular Gradle um, application. Um, all right, so then the next thing that we can create is um, is a database. So, um, yeah, Heroku has this concept of add-ons and it, you know, can create Postgres uh, database, for example, as add-ons. And this is basically then what we also configure here. Uh, so let's go back to our, um, to our UI. Here you see that there are no add-ons right now. And um, you know, I could search here for Postgres and then it would uh, try, you know, I could select it and create, create it accordingly. I will once again do it here via this resource um, mechanism from Terraform and then also connect it directly to this application. And so the next thing is that we would um, need probably a pipeline. So this is actually, strictly speaking, not really needed. Um, but um, yeah, probably when we have like multiple environments or something, this is something that we would like to leverage. So I will create it here immediately. So this is just a concept where you can have different apps in, you know, like have a testing phase in the pipeline and then a staging environment and then a production environment and so forth. And this is just a resource to create this pipeline. And yeah, then the next thing is that we want to couple our application to our pipeline so basically this um, you know is just connecting those two uh, like this one here this pipeline together with my my application at the top and here you can you know declare a particular name okay then the next thing or the next two things is actually this connection to github so what we need is that um you know when we go back to uh to our uh, heroku ui 
so you can see here under the deploy section, you have various methods on how to deploy uh, a particular application um, to Heroku. You can do it via the CLI, you can do it via, you know, Docker registry or whatever. Um, normally I use um, the direct integration with GitHub. So you basically just point it to a GitHub, um, you know, uh, yeah, just repository, and then it will automatically, um, you know, read the sources um, when there is a change in the GitHub, it will automatically trigger uh, deployment and so on and so forth. And this is what we now do here. Um, it basically contains of those two steps. So first of all, uh, we integrate our pipeline into this repository here, uh, which is, you know, our regular uh, repository. And then let me just fix this naming here. Um, yeah, we basically connect this application um, to our um, to our uh, GitHub, and yeah, then you know you have a couple of configuration options that you can see. Uh, once again, you will find that in the documentation, um, but normally there is always like a UI equivalent of that, which is then just you know. Under the hood, these Terraform providers are just doing that uh, via the corresponding APIs that, for example, GitHub provides. Okay, with that, um, let's just push that to our repository. And now coming back to our uh, Terraform workflow, you now see that you know, the corresponding Git commit is there. And when we see the details, it says, okay, it would like to create five entries. For example, here our staging database, and then the connection to the GitHub pipelines and so on. Good, then let's actually make that happen. Okay, so everything worked. Um, re, yeah, configuration should be there. So this means our app we already had. So this means if I now refresh my screen, um, then probably as you see here, it is connected to GitHub. And when we look at the settings here, um, and also this was wrong. Let's see where this is. Ah, so the resources, sorry. Uh, under the resources, you see the uh, the database, for example, which is now, uh, you know, created and attached to this to this application. Okay, with that, we mainly have achieved our goal of this particular um, infrastructure provisioning mechanism. So this means that for everything that we do, now we can either create new resources or adjust the resources um, or whatever, and this happens um, you know, everything through, through Terraform. So this is it for this video and then see you next time.